What's up guys? Today we're going to be installing a one-piece drive shaft on this 2019 Mustang GT. Now this vehicle was recently supercharged and we want to be able to use the trans brake uh, so the drive shaft is the weak link so we're going to go ahead and replace that with a one-piece uh, and see if we can really put the power down to the ground. So I'm pulling in the shop now, we're going to get it on the rack and I'll show you how it's done. All right, before we get started, we're going to want to go ahead and put the transmission in neutral and then shut off the vehicle. Now we're ready to rack it up and swap out the drive shaft. the car up on the rack we did its first oil change we swapped out the plastic drain fog for this fancy UPR version first we need to remove the exhaust system before we can remove the drive shaft to do that you need to loosen these four 15 millimeter nuts on the sleeve clamps and then remove the six 13 millimeter bolts on the exhaust brackets. You can certainly remove the exhaust system yourself, but it's much easier with an assistant. With the exhaust system removed, you can clearly see the drive shaft. There are six bolts on the rear flange, two bolts for the carrier bearing, and four bolts on the front flange. The front bolts are 12 mm 12 point, the rear bolts are regular 10 mm, and the carrier bearing bolts are 13 mm. The best way to remove the drive shaft is remove the front and rear flange bolts first and then remove the carrier bearing bolts. You can definitely do this by yourself, but again, it's easier with an assistant. Here's a look at the stock drive shaft on the ground. As you can see, there's a carrier bearing and a universal joint in the center. That is the weak link. Now we're going to unbox the drive shaft shop Chromoly one piece drive shaft. This is the two drive shafts laying side by side. must remove the flange on the end of the drive shaft shop and install that flange on the pinion flange on the vehicle before you can install the drive shaft. First we're going to remove the six 5mm hex head bolts off the flange. Next we're going to install the flange onto the vehicle.
Now that the drive shaft is completely installed, we can reinstall the exhaust system. Now we're ready to fire it up and pull it out of the shop. Alright, so that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, if you want to use a trans brake or you really want to launch out the drive shaft, I definitely recommend the one piece drive shaft. Today we went with the drive shaft shop, probably one of the most popular aftermarket drive shaft companies out there. They do make a carbon version as well. Today we went with the Chromala unit. Uh, so it probably took an hour and a half, you know, with the lift. You know, taking the exhaust on and off is probably the, the biggest hassle. And if you have a stock exhaust, you know, it's just all one piece. Um, unbolts pretty much the same way. Uh, but like I said, probably an hour and a half on the rack, in and out. Not too big of a deal. So you got to see we put the uh, trans brake to use. Uh, we didn't break anything, so we're happy about that. Um, this car puts out about 860 horsepower to the wheels, so the drive shaft's a, a key piece to, to getting the power to the ground in this car. So as always, thank you for checking out my video. I hope you maybe learned something about installing a drive shaft. If you were curious, uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram and also check out my Facebook page. Have a great day.